The New York Times reports that emails reveal Sony softened the upcoming movie Concussion. It was reportedly an effort to keep the NFL happy. The movie stars Will Smith as a doctor who discovered a brain disease that football players could develop from head injuries. In response to the claims, the film's director tells CBS this morning, quote, anyone who sees the movie will know that it never once compromises the integrity and the power of the real story. Jim Maxelrod shows us how the movie could be a problem for the NFL. Jim, good morning. Well, good morning. The NFL is an estimated $10 billion enterprise. This movie, starring some of Hollywood's biggest names, suggests the NFL went to great lengths to silence the doctor and protect its profits, even at the expense of the health and well-being of its players. You turned on the lights and gave their biggest boogeyman a name. That name is CTE. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, and it was discovered by Bennett Omalu, a Nigerian born doctor played by Will Smith. If they continue to deny my work, men continue to die. Omalu identified the disease in 2002 after performing an autopsy on ex Pittsburgh Steelers center Mike Webster. The Hall of Famer died when he was just 50 after struggling with dementia, depression, and homelessness. Omalu said Webster's brain was badly damaged by proteins as if he had advanced Alzheimer's. And he has since made similar discoveries in the brains of more than a dozen former NFL players. Omalu believes CTE is caused by repeated mild traumatic brain injury from years of playing in the NFL. I found a disease that no one has ever seen. Repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. USA Today sports columnist Nancy Armour thinks concussion could change people's minds about the NFL. It's not a documentary that can be ignored. It's a Hollywood blockbuster picture. The NFL won't have a choice but to answer the questions that it raises. The 2012 suicide of Hall of Fame linebacker Junior Seau, who suffered from CTE, put the NFL on the defensive. On Tuesday, the NFL would not respond directly to the movie, but issued a statement saying, quote, we have no higher priority than player health and safety. In April, a judge approved a $1 billion concussion settlement between the NFL and former players. But for years, NFL doctors discredited Omalu's findings as junk science. In the movie, league officials are shown conspiring to stifle his work. You're going to war with a corporation that owns a day of the week. What do you think they're doing to you now? That's nothing. You have no idea how bad this could get. Concussion opens in theaters in December, just before the start of the playoffs. Peak interest in professional football. The movie's director says he didn't make the film to condemn the NFL or destroy football. He simply wanted to tell a good story. Seems like he's raising a lot of good questions. Yeah. People want to see that movie. Thank you, Jim.